Adrian, thanks so much. It was also an emotional day at the state capitol today as lawmakers debated a punishment for one of their own. The controversy stems from an incident last week that many agree simply got out of hand. 13 News chief political reporter Mark Curtis has more from the capitol. Lot of the refugees. Friday's session began with an interfaith prayer featuring Christian, Jewish, and Muslim leaders. The controversy stemmed from an anti-Muslim poster displayed at Republican Party Day at the Capitol last Friday. Marion County Delegate Mike Caputo objected to that poster's message and angrily kicked in the main door to the House chamber, hurting a doorkeeper. But the effort to censure or remove Caputo from office failed. First of all, I want to thank everyone in a bipartisan fashion who I believe has forgiven me for my actions, which I uh, uh, openly admitted and openly apologized to everyone, uh, uh, including the doorkeeper. So uh, hopefully this thing is behind us. Caputo was stripped of his committee assignments, but there wasn't much support for punishment beyond that. Obviously, violence should never be accepted. Uh, I, I do believe that perhaps censure is in order, but expulsion, no. Uh, he did apologize. I think there's a lot of work that needs to be done here, and we should be focusing on that. The group that brought last week's poster that sparked the outrage was back again Friday with another message. I'm back today. It's International Women's Day, and I'm back here in support of free speech because we cannot let them take our free speech away from us. Um, I don't think her right to free speech is being violated. She's welcome to come with any poster she wants. Meanwhile, the legislature is trying to pass dozens of bills at the 11th hour. All of this sets the stage for the final day of the legislative session on Saturday. Remember, if it doesn't get done by midnight Saturday, it isn't going to get done. At the state capitol in Charleston, I'm Moore Curtis, 13 News, working for you. Even though the 60-day regular session does end tomorrow at midnight, Governor Justice has called a special session on education reform issues, but no specific start date has been set for that just yet.